when we all take our seats again, our respective seats, uh, Mr. Seed from the Nerve is taking a pee. He's having a pee outside. Anyway, this is myself, Gomes of the Nerve, and this is Chet Fink, bass player, mediocre extraordinaire, drinking his curling beer. The cheap thing, Steve. Yeah. This one, the label fell off. This one, the label fell off. <laughs> That's my, 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 uh, <laughs> oh. my line of the night. Oh, oh, oh. Continuing on from last one. This beer is fucking stupid. Anyway, we had this little competition when we made the, uh, the Nerve episode 2 that anytime I cracked out and laughed, or we'd have to take a drink of our beer, so. We're, we're pretty intoxicated now. We're gonna change this up, though. Yeah, are we? Every time Darren laughed at his own joke, we always drink. <laughs> uh, it makes it be, a little more difficult. It has that to way. be my joke. Because yeah. I say a lot of jokes that aren't funny and don't go anywhere. So. And then he laughs at them a lot. I laugh. I'm the only one that. Give me. Whoa! That hit you in the head. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you give me another one. I don't want that. It's oh. not. It's 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 not. Anyway, if I could pick up my laptop and bring it over to the case, I'd show you how much beer that well, basically I drank in the, last, in the last several hours. Because I mean, things have like five. No. Oh, six and a half. <laughs> Fuck, man. This is number uh, nine. Seeds had at least five or six. six all right, I don't know, five? Six. Five, six? Since six you got off. here, you got six. cut off. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, you know what? I'm a cheap drunk, but you know what? One case gets me drunk for a week, and I'm all right with that, because now I'm not broke. And he can't get it up. You laughed at his own joke. Oh, there you go. Oh. We're going to get you there. Bitch, bang. That means the next time oh, I'll never bomb the You know what that means? Next, next time I laugh at my own joke, joke you I don't have to drink and I don't. So I mean, you know what? Check it. Test it. <laughs> drink. That was a fake laugh. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it doesn't count if you do it on purpose, jackass. No, you got to drink. Fuck you. I don't have to drink. I'll yeah. kick you in no. the nuts as hard as I can. I've done it 17 times before. You felt that. <laughs> <laughs> You my know what I'm all about. My package took quite a bit, and I was fucking the day. Dan was like a wee lad, and I was a wee lad. She was a wee lad. Anyway, you know what? You know what? Well, he kicks me in the balls, and then I kick him in the balls. And nobody else can kick me in the balls. He never kicked me in the balls. He kicked me in the balls, and I ripped his fucking head off. Anyway. This is going to double as the second episode of uh, Shred Cords Not Loves. I thought it was Shred Cords Not Loves. No, actually, it's uh, Shred Cords Not Loves. <laughs> That's what I thought. Hey, yeah. 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 I'm not really British. I'm French. I'm not really British. Maybe even British, but what British? My right. pronunciation is off. Anyway, uh, the uh, first episode of Shred Course Not Loves. I said I had a rigorous training uh, thing that I was going to do and try and get into a uh, really good shape. I failed over the course of six weeks. But, in the last couple days, I have actually been working pretty hard towards getting into a fairly good shape. And uh, I've resorted down to doing about 50, I don't know what these, what are those things called? Why would you do that? You said fucking beautiful. What? It's called drinking in the gay rush. I gotta at least make one gay joke, you fuckhead. (laughs) (laughs) Oh! We got a drink now! This beer's foamed over like seven times since I've opened it. Anyway, yeah, anyway, I did shred cords and not loves. Less of all, I've been doing 50 of these. I don't know what the word is. What? Well, were you laying on the fucking ground? I was laying on my back. Were you doing fucking squat? uh, Set up, man. No, I was laying on my back with like my elbows behind my head, curled my head up, and did like those things. Yeah, man, because they can only do setups. It's like a it's like a squat sit up. Anyway, uh, his phone's going off. And <laughs> anyway, I've been doing fifty. Of, so I'm like, 
Anyway, I didn't do 50 of those today. Uh, as well as around 150 push-ups a day, like uh, 50 crunches per arm a day, as well as being totally Mexican and digging ditches with his parents. My workout? Uh, I don't know. Um, well, I'm white, so well, he wakes up today, and I'm all no, right. no. He wakes up and complains, uh, eats a pizza or so, works, and uh, then he goes to bed. Look at that. Totally in shape. Oh, no, I thought I was going to be fired in that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're not in shape. You're white. No, I'm not in shape yet. It's just been a couple days. Anyway, I'm going to be trying to get in shape in uh, the days to come. For when we go on tour, I want to get in really, really good shape so I can let myself go so I can get really out of shape for the days and days that I'll be on tour doing nothing but drinking beer and sleeping. Basically what we do right now. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what we're doing tonight is <laughs> I'm not sleeping and I'm drinking beer. I mean, it's 11-ish p.m. And we've done nothing Check. but smoke cigarettes and this is the message for all you out there. Oh, God. That's why I said Oh, Check. God. You come into my garage? You come into my home? No, it's not the garage. It's not the garage. Don't take thin face. It's the gay rage. It's a gay race. You go out and fucking smell a jar. It smells like shit. It Dude, smells like shit. You have to see that bottle Just in wait. the wintertime. Just wait. Once they come out with smell vision this is going to fucking kill you. You have to wait until the winter time. Uh, he's pulled that jar out in the middle of winter. Because everyone who ever comes into the gay rage has to smell that jar. And uh, we pulled it out last winter for, I don't even know, I don't even remember it. But it was so disgusting. Oh, I remember it was that fat bitch that nobody likes. Dweeb? Well, I think her name is Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You got a drink? <laughs> that is all. You got a drink for that one? Anyway, Lisa, uh, YouTube out, community. Anyway, uh, we pulled it out in the middle of winter, and it was so disgustingly smelly. That it began to steam. We might go for a show with Sean too. Yeah. Oh, your ex girl. Yeah, Tina. Tina, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah. on the topics was crazy. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> yeah, Tina Lagrange. Lagrange. <laughs> <laughs> Tina Lagrange. She smelled that shit with puke. Yeah. It was fucking steaming. Ever hear the song Lagrange? That's what basically what Tina sounds like. Oh, Tina, she doesn't sound like ZZ Top at all. Anyway, it's been a fun episode of I Don't Know What the Fuck. I don't even know what I'm going to name this. I don't know, Drunken Times at Richmond High? And as I say in every episode, stay black, you're a nigger. Yeah, you you non-white supremacist. I'll have to turn my back now. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you. All right, bye-bye. Mighty Bell.